right, y'all, you see it real quick. The male loneliness epidemic and how it affects fathers. So, for all my TIs out there that's suffering from loneliness, you can't get no girl or whatever, you can't get no cho-cha, well, just look on the bright side. You're not the only one. Wow. It's an epidemic that's going on. Meaning, it's international. You know what I mean? Maybe it's just all over America. Maybe it's all over the damn planet. The flat earth, whatever. The basketball, whatever. Everybody's going through it. Looks to me like it's just some big ass conspiracy. Why is it that everybody's going through the same shit? Huh? Anybody have the answers? I got the answers. The answers is because at the end of the day, to make a long story short, everybody is being gang stalked. Can I get a no-no there? You understand? It ain't got nothing to do with your skin complexion no more. This is the ultimate takeover. Remember the scripture says, and everybody should be able to, no matter what, it said rich or poor, right? Bond or free, right? You gonna take this mark <laughs> or else. <laughs> You know what I mean? It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't no... You gotta understand, the skin color situation, that was just another illusional skill tactic to keep us fighting and bickering, just like how they use the religious thing. They never give us unity, y'all. You gotta look at that. Who you talking about, D? Who you talking about? I'm talking about the Adjustment Bureau, motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I couldn't, I could never understand when, when I was young, when I used to leave out of church. I used to, we used to leave our churches over. You leave out of Pentecostal, a, 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 um, Pentecostal church, Pentecostal. I'm fucking butchering the word. Pentecostal church, and right across the street, it'd be a Baptist church. We'll, we'll let out at the same time. And nobody would really speak to each other. Really, nobody wouldn't speak at all. From the Pentecostal side to the Baptist side. But yet still, we in there serving the same Jesus. It's supposed to be the same Jesus. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible always tells you there's one body, which is the body of Christ. So that right there lets you know there's, there's, there's really no separation. There's one body. Well, first of all, why wouldn't we even worship it together? Why why are you across the street in one building and I'm across the street in another building? Why how come we're not all just together? If we're just, you know, praising the same God, you know what I'm saying? But no, it's egotistical, it's, it's run by the beast, it's run by the government. It's it's designed to create division amongst the people. My church is bigger than your church. I'm making more money than you. I got more attendees. My congregation is bigger. I'm getting more tithes and offerings, player, player. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. It ain't about no damn God, man. Them, them people, look, you gotta understand. Unless you're talking about the God of this world, the, the God that you think you know, you thinking that the, the good God, you got to understand the God that runs this shit is the evil deity. Okay? It's a monster. For the God of this world have blinded the minds. You got to understand this. God is turning people to reprobate minds. <laughs> you know. But you got to also look at it, too, on different sides, too, because, you know, in that scripture, 
Romans 1, when it says that God turned them into a reprobate mind, what did it say? It says, because since they didn't like to retain knowledge, God has given them over to a reprobate mind. So a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't like to retain knowledge anyway. And that's the reason why y'all dumb as hell. And that's the reason why y'all trapped in those paradigms. Because God has given you over to a reprobate mind. If you don't understand the words I'm talking about, you are in a reprobate mind. If you're saying behind this camera, this nigga crazy, you are in a reprobated mind. They got you. They got you. This shit is serious, people. But at the same time, they say it's just an illusion. It ain't even real. <laughs> so if it ain't real, if it ain't an illusion, how serious really is it? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? I just know it gets on your damn nerves being down this motherfucker. And you know you can't enjoy your life like you want to enjoy your life. But I don't know. I guess enjoyment is then there what? I don't know. Is it over? Is it over for enjoyment? You know? I mean, the Matrix is collapsing. It's already collapsed. I remember back in the day, man, going to the mall was so exciting. You know, when you were about 15 years old, you know what I'm saying? You get some new sneakers, man, and we seeing pretty girls and get your Mac on. And That's back then. That's back then, man, when you know, pretty much like these people, these little children, these young buckers, young buckaroos. Around that age, man, you know, that's when you just lost in the sauce. You don't, you don't know what the fuck is going on in this world. But then once you wake up and realize it, boy, you're like, damn, this was definitely a matrix from the very beginning. It was always a matrix. You was just sleep. You didn't see it. You didn't comprehend it. Because you got to understand, this type of matrix has to be explained anyway. It, it, it do. It really do. You got to break this shit down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what did, what did Morpheus, how did Morpheus school Neo? He had to break it down to him. He was like, unfortunately, nobody can tell you about the Matrix. You got to see it for yourself. He had, to, he, had to, he had to allow Neo to see the Matrix for himself. And what, what happened? What happened with Neil when he saw it? He started throwing up, right? He couldn't believe it. It's hard. It's some, you know, you gotta, you know, that's why some of y'all motherfuckers still sleep. I guess, it, you know, it ain't meant for y'all to see it yet. It's just not, you know, it's just too hard for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like giving a baby some steak. A baby can't eat a cheese steak. Some of y'all motherfuckers is grown ass, y'all some grown ass babies though. Big feet and shit sitting up in the damn high chair. You know what I'm saying? Still fucking eating applesauce and shit. What the hell's going on with you? You done stayed behind a little too long, player, player. Fucking 11 size foot. Facial hair and shit. And you still talking about some Gerber. You you ain't, you ain't, you know, you ain't grown. Your, your body, I'm trying to tell you, we got some grown ass kids out here today. Can I get an amen in the house, house of boulders? You know what I'm saying? We got some fucking grown ass kids out here. They they grown as shit. Hair, facial hair, deep voices, whatever. You know, women got boobs, all that shit, right? Grown. But go ahead and have a conversation with them. They are fucking children. They don't know what the fuck is going on in this world. You can go to some of these people and ask them, what the, what the hell is an epidemic? They don't even know what the fuck that is. What's, what's that? That's a drug? You know what I'm saying? My uncle, he used to take those epidemics. He done died off them epidemics. Shut your dumb ass up. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at. I told you, watch Idiocracy. Whoever wrote that damn movie, they knew what time it was. They knew it. So this is just a short video about the epidemic that's going on in people's lives. And it ain't just male either. Because there's a lot of fucking females out here that's lonely too. And you know what's real jacked up? You know what's real jacked up? There's a lot of beautiful women. I'm talking about six, seven, fucking eight-figure women. Money. 
And they lonely as hell. They lonely as hell. And they'll never, they never give a, a, a dude like myself a chance because, number one, I'm targeted. So, you know, why would she do that? <laughs> would you mess with a targeted woman if you weren't targeted? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it makes sense, right? <laughs> Especially if you got it all. Let, just think about it. Think about it. This is for the, for, for the dudes, right? For the, for the men out here. If you was making seven figures and you was not on the target list, and you met some chick that looked like Stacy Dash or Keisha Coles or whatever, or Beyonce, Maya, whatever, but she was a target individual, <laughs> and she when she wanted to holler at you, you not gonna mess with that. You even had a men in black at your damn door. See you. They fucking freeze your assets. Sometimes when we talk, you got money. Land, cars, houses, real estate. You gonna pass on that that Keisha Coles. Why why would you why would you go down that road? Cause she's a target individual? Not at all. So so my point is what I'm saying is I can't blame if I met a fine woman that got money and she was living her life. She's still basically in the American dream. My mother of the American dream. You know what I'm saying? So. She's living her life. I would be like. Raining on her parade. <laughs> raining on her parade or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I come into your life. Now, now your life is hell now. You, you know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers fucking with you now. Because I mean that's what they would do. If you go out there and find a woman. And if you're a male target. You go out there and find a woman, and she's really a real legit, real person, real, you know, entity. No bot, no NPC, or nothing like that. She has, She's not down with the program. She don't know nothing about it. And you start fucking with her, you best believe. First of all, they ain't even going to let it get... They, you're not even going to get a chance to fuck with her. But let's just say if it was a glitch in the Matrix or whatever, and it happened. Trust me, they would, they would sabotage her, man. Like I said, they would freeze her assets, man. Her cars fucked up. You know, all types of shit. They would do... She, she would go outside and be seeing people just standing out there, congregating the next to her car with all black on. They were scared the shit out of her. They were scared the shit out of her. She would take off. And you cannot blame her. So that's why how I see it. In order for there to be any type of chance of a man, a targeted man and a target woman to get together is that if, if there was to find love, it would have to be with each other. I'm trying to tell you, I know some people probably disagree and say, oh man, you know, that it ain't going to work. What y'all going to do? Talk about gang stalking all day? Well, what the fuck else you going to talk about then? Shit, because at least you get a chance to talk about gang stalking to somebody else that's being gang stalked. Because if you... If you being gang stalking and you trying to go out there and meet somebody else that's not, you think that's going to work? That's not going to work. You up there talking about you being followed by fucking red, white, and black cars all damn day. Some type of systematic program going on. Directed energy, all this. And she don't have no clue about that shit. Like, what the hell is you talking about? See what I'm saying? She won't know you. She won't, she won't say you crazy. Because you already know that the program is so damn invisible anyway. It's only... It's only it's not visible to the one that's being targeted. It's only invisible to the outsiders. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're outside, you don't know who's real or who's fucking an NPC. You don't know. But it's but it's so the numbers are so great. I really really believe that it's probably like ninety. I'm I'm trying to tell you, I was ninety eight. I say about ninety seven, ninety eight percent, man. Bots out that bitch. 98, 97, and three quarters, if that's a such thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. It's bots out that motherfucker. So everybody talking about, oh man, the zombie apocalypse is coming and the invasion of the body snatchers. Man, that shit been happening. If you ain't being gang stalked by now, then you probably one of the bots out here following people. Straight up. 
You probably one of the bots. If you ain't been, if you ain't out here being tracked and surveilled, and they following you every fucking where, then you probably is the one following people. Everywhere they go. Real shit. They already got you. So I'm going to watch this movie called Brain Scanners. I'm going to do a breakdown on that joint later. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There's an epidemic going on now. Every fucking world. The world is just jacked, man. <laughs> um, I can't believe it. And everybody keeps saying, oh, man, this is a wonderful time to be alive. And all this shit. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Might have been better back in the motherfucking 70s and the 80s. But it was bad then, too. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they did the drug thing. Especially in the black community. They, put, they had to put the drug out. You got to understand, crack was, you know, you know, it was, it was designed for black people. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's real funny? I heard a white boy told me one time, he said, you got to be a dumb motherfucker to get addicted to crack cocaine. He said, I smoked crack cocaine plenty of times, and it did nothing. It did nothing, right? And I was like, and I ain't saying nothing. I just laughed. And I was like, wow. He, he basically confirmed what I had read back in the day about how crack, the crack epidemic was designed for black people. It was designed to target black people. You know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of blacks was um, addicted to that shit. So when the white boy said, you got to be a dumb motherfucker to be addicted to crack cocaine. Because he it didn't, he wasn't addicted to it. Then. So that right there just, he put the motherfucking nail in the coffin. I'm like, okay. Well, you just gave me head. You just let me know. That's confirmation that the CIA created it for black people. That's the reason why your white ass didn't get addicted to it. It wasn't made for you. <laughs> but they got meth for y'all. You see what I'm saying? They got that fentanyl for y'all. So the beast is doing all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? The beast is doing all types of shit. The, the devil came to kill, steal, and to destroy. We just got to find out who the devil is because a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't know. Y'all Christian motherfuckers definitely don't know. Y'all motherfuckers need to wake up and realize who the beast is. With that being said, y'all, I'm going to end this. About damn near 18 minutes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You already know DB, Gangstar Simulation, the best channel motherfucking motherfucking YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And right here, we got an epidemic going on with a lot of bots and NBCs taking over the damn planet. Michael Jackson Thriller is here. Baby, baby. Holla back.